Hey guys, my name is Diffused Animal, and welcome to what is probably the most advanced strat video I have done to date. We are on Skyscraper, defending T and Karaoke, with the operators Mirror, Maestro, Mute, Jaeger, and Castle. Now I know this one's a little bit longer than normal, but I can honestly say that every single operator has got something unique to their setup. So stick around to the end, even if you're the most advanced player in Rainbow Six Siege, I can guarantee that you will learn something new from this video. So Mira's going to start us off, and you're going to head over to Geisha Wall and start shooting out a line of sight all the way around the Geisha Wall. Um, at about crouch height before heading into the corridor on Geisha and then shooting out another line of sight all the way down the wall um, at floor height roughly um, into karaoke. After this is complete you're going to head into tea room and on the right hand side of the south wall reinforce the first panel. Your first mirror window is going to go at crouch height on said wall and then the wall, the panel next to it will be reinforced by another operator but just to show you how you will set up. Your second mirror window then goes at standing height next to your crouch when it kind of overlaps the two um, reinforced walls. You then want to open up your standing mirror and this allows you to basically have control of Geisha and stop anyone from opening it. You can also see drum from here and you look for your crouch one and then shoot through the wall through your standing mirror and because the geisha wall is shot out at crouch height they will not be able to see your higher mirror now maestro is actually going to help mirror with a setup by placing a shield in the doorway so if you imagine your mirror windows are to the left the wall in front is also going to be reinforced this allows you to get a pixel onto the window of karaoke and then from here you're able to copy your c4 so you want to make sure you shoot out a line down the side of that reinforcement and as you can see that C4 will reach all the way to the window. Before we get onto Maestro's setup I need to show you Mute and he's going to start off by heading into the corridor in between both of the bombsites and shooting out the wall at crouch height that leads into tea room. You're then going to turn around and pay your attention to the wall of karaoke and shoot out the, all the way across the bottom of this wall, this time a little bit lower right at ground level. You want to try and make sure you get all of this wall out. Mirror can alter it if it needs to, but this allows you, um, as Maestro, who will be showing you next, to get a long sight with his ACOG from gold and pretty much cover the whole of karaoke. Continuing with mute setup you're going to place your first mute jammer in between those two mirror windows in tea room before heading into drum and placing your second mute jammer on the doorway between drum and terrace. You're then going to hop down the balcony and head into pantry where you will reinforce the east wall. Before placing your third mute jammer on said wall and then your final mute jammer on the doorway to pantry itself. This doorway will be castled but mute will be playing on top of these boxes and if you take your shotgun lean to the right and stand up you can shoot a hole up into drum so you can get a line of sight onto the drum doorway at the top of the stairs. Now from above this is very hard to see as it is behind that cabinet but Mute's role is to cover drum from underneath and then also help the other two people who be roaming down here to cover the toilet door, the window in reception and the kitchen window. As well as doing this, Mute can also use his C4 if he gets calls from the mirror or the maestro of his cams. If you come here, this is the corner of Geisha. If you come round into Kitchen and shoot above right in the middle of these two pillars where the wooden thing comes, um, this is directly underneath Geisha uh, karaoke window. And then if you turn around at the corner of the other wooden ventilation unit, that is the corner where the reinforced 
panel is. Moving on to Maestro then and you're going to start off by placing your first evil eye on this TV in karaoke. This TV cannot be destroyed so don't worry about it getting shot off. You're then going to head into Geisha and reinforce their hatch. This is to protect the people who are playing below. Then you're going to move into the corridor of Geisha and place your second evil eye before heading over and reinforcing that panel that we mentioned opposite the shield in the tea room doorway. Maestro is then going to hop down the stairs and shoot a few holes into the bathroom wall. This is to help the roamers downstairs get a line of sight and protect that bathroom slash toilet. You're then going to head back to the top of the stairs and shoot a few more lines of sight at head height um, in the wall into karaoke. This is to help your evil eye get an angle onto the top of the stairs and place finally that shield that we mentioned. And of course, Maestro will play in gold where he will have that ACOG to look into karaoke. Now, where the evil eyes are placed in accordance to all of the holes shot out in the walls is actually amazing. The one in karaoke can actually see tea room window as, long, as well as the top of the stairs and of course karaoke itself. So anyone trying to plant in any of those positions that will cover it. And then the one in the corridor of Geisha can shoot any Habana charges off the mirror window. As well as covering Geisha, uh, karaoke. And if you're lucky you might even get a pick or two from underneath the drone hole. These are some of the angles you can get from gold. Obviously you'll have the ACOG with Maestro. But you basically just want to anchor in gold in tea room. And use your Maestro cams for intel. And try and stop anyone from planting. Jaeger is up next. And you're going to start off by placing your first ADS underneath karaoke window. Before heading into tea room. And placing your second ADS along with your first piece of barbed wire. You're then going to head over and reinforce that second panel where Mirror places her second mirror window. Before placing your final ADS on the other side of that reinforced wall into karaoke. Your second piece of barbed wire is going to go at the top of the stairs to stop anyone from rushing through the door. And then you're going to head into kitchen and reinforce the single panel on the west wall. This is Jaeger's setup pretty much complete. You're just then going to punch some holes in the wall of barbecue looking into... In the wall of kitchen, sorry, looking into barbecue. And then this is where Jaeger will play. You're going to be covering the kitchen window. Um, remember the hatch will be reinforced. You're going to help mute protect service entrance from pantry. And you can also get a pixel onto the double door of reception which will be castled. Now... Heading into barbecue, this wall just here will be impacted by castle. And remember also you have the holes which offer you the line of sight into the downstairs toilet. So from these holes in kitchen that Jaeger makes, you can cover both of the windows in barbecue and at the bottom of the stairs. You can cover if anyone goes up the stairs. And then from your other holes, you can help uh, castle out by protecting his toilet window. Last but not least then is Castle and you're going to start by heading into tea room and impacting below the window. I will show you the very nice angle that this offers just in a moment. You're then going to reinforce the two south walls on the left hand side of tea room before then re uh, putting your first castle barricade onto the north door of tea room. This is again to stop anyone from rushing in from the top of the stairs. You're then going to make that impact hole that we mentioned before as Jaeger and then head into pantry and put a castle barricade on there to help protect Mute from service entrance. Your final castle barricade is going to go on that double door in reception that we mentioned and then that is castle setup complete and you are going to play behind the tables in restaurant. You're going to be covering the bathroom window, obviously the window at the bottom of the stairs and through that impact hole we made you can see up and get anyone if they hop into the window of tea room. 
the basic idea of this is the three people downstairs all work together and get crossfires with each other onto the windows and the doors and from here you can stop anyone from entering up either of the staircases and remember mute is covering drum and castle can cover the tea room window from underneath that's it for this one then guys i really hope you enjoyed the video and you managed to learn something from this one until next time take it easy and give them hell so if you can see